The Cathedral Church of the Holy Trinity and the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception will both remain closed this week as cleanup efforts continue in the wake of Tuesday's earthquake. Both historic buildings sustained damage in the 6.9 magnitude earthquake when portions of their exterior collapsed. Karen Kosia Philip reports. Portions of the masonry on the exterior of the Holy Trinity Cathedral came crashing down during Tuesday's 6.9 magnitude earthquake, sending boulders and rubble to the ground. This car parked in the yard of the church was damaged by falling debris during the quake. The cathedral's dean and rector, Reverend Shelley Antinia, said the cathedral will remain closed for the rest of this week. At, at this point, unless we get all of the rubble removed, the boulder out and, and the place cleaned up, yes. um, it may actually run into Friday. Um, we, we're actually not opposed to getting tents and on the western walkway where it is in fact safe having service there, but we haven't actually mapped that out. Reverend Tinia said the church was scheduled to start emergency works this week, such as the repair of leaks, replacement of guttering, and removal of plaster from the interior walls. The cost of the emergency works are estimated at $900,000. A dilapidation survey commissioned by the church would give a more detailed account of the repair or restoration works needed for the 200-year-old building. That is estimated to take five years to complete and costs in the range of 70 to 75 million dollars. Over at the recently renovated Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception, a portion of one of the steeples atop the church fell through the roof above the sacristy, damaging furniture and other decorative elements. Vicar General and Cathedral Administrator Father Martin Sergiu said the first piece of work would be to attend to the hole in the roof to prevent flooding of the church. He said another steeple on the northern side of the cathedral poses a danger and as such the road along Independence Square between George Street and Nelson Street has been closed off. And it could fall on, on people or cars passing by and so the police have blocked off the road. Father Sergio advised there will be no weekend nor weekday masses at the cathedral. Masses will instead take place at the Sacred Heart RC Church at the corner of Richmond and Sackville Streets. Karen Cozier Philip, C News. The National Library building on Hart and Abercrombie Streets in Port of Spain will be closed until further notice. A statement from the National Library Service said safety is important to Nalis and as such a complete assessment of the building's structural integrity will be conducted before the resumption of services. The Nalis building also houses the Ministry of Public Administration. Several government buildings such as the Ministry of Finance, Eric Williams Complex, the Government Campus and the Ministry of Education Towers remained closed today as infrastructural assessments were undertaken. And joining us on the phone now is Minister of Works and Transport, Rohan Sinanan. Mr. Sinanan, your team of engineers would have been out today doing assessments of many government buildings. Have you had any reports from them so far? Yes, good evening and good evening to all the viewers. This evening on TV. Yes, you would have had an assessment done today and a report handed in where just over at the ministry's uh, head office, uh, just over 30 buildings were inspected. Uh, 28 of those were reported without any structural damage. And two of them, I think you highlighted one of them a while ago on your, your program, uh, that is the church. They, they have some... some Structural damage, and it is recommended that they be closed until um, those uh, structural damages have been rectified. Uh, so far, all the on the highways and the all the bridges and the overpass have been inspected. Most of them that have been inspected today all is in good condition. No structural damage as well. So, so far, we are not seeing any major structural damage on any of the infrastructure that we have inspected. Now, Minister Sinanan, we also spoke about the Nalis Library suffering some major damage. Can you tell us anything more about it? Okay, I have not gotten the, the full report on the Nalis Library because the engineers there still have some work to, to complete on that one. 
Minister, the stadium and the gene pair complex have been closed. We understand your ministry is being asked to assist in assessing the structure. Do you agree that this is long overdue? Um, again, we are in the process of um, inspecting the different structures. Tomorrow we have just about 60 structures to inspect. We have a lot of support from private uh, engineering firms who are all coming on board and I would think by tomorrow and Saturday, we should have most of these structures inspected. Much that was Minister of Works and Transport, Rohan Sinanan, just giving us an update on some of the assessments they did today.